again because uh, I want to make sure he's able to train. Like over 20 <laughs> <laughs> Asians don't raise it. Yo, follow that skincare routine. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Before getting into this video, I just kind of, kind of wanted to clarify about the the whole timeline of these videos because I, I know it's kind of sporadic. I'm posting some videos from maybe a couple years ago, some videos from, from a year ago, and some videos that's pretty current. And people are kind of getting confused, so a lot of people are messaging me asking like if I'm in Japan, if I'm in New York, if I'm in South Korea, where am I? So to clear things up, I always have an inventory of, of videos. And what I used to do was that I used to post everything in pretty much sequential order, like just from from the past archives until the most recent. But over the last year or so, I kinda, kinda wanted to mix things up a little bit so you're not getting like 20 videos from Japan or 20 videos from Korea. So I started kinda like mixing the videos together and, and I feel like that's when things kinda got a little confusing and I apologize for that. And then there's some videos I completely forgot about like the Ichiran um, working at Ichiran video. I totally forgot about that. Cause I told you guys, I'm completely absent mind. I have the worst memory, I'm so, really not that organized. So sometimes I'm archiving, I'll find random videos and that's why I'll post them maybe a year, two year. I think that video, uh, three years late, I did two videos where I went to San Francisco and I spent a few days where I filmed with Eric and I filmed with Matt Stoney. So this was filmed a while ago, pre-COVID. And since these interview videos, they do take longer um, to edit. And for me, I also have to make sure that the person on my video, they actually like how the video turned out. So usually guest videos do take longer to publish than other videos. I mean, usually it doesn't take like 10 months. That's just really my fault. By the time you're watching this video, I, I would have been in Korea, South, not North for close to two months now. And I do just want to give a huge thank you to all of you guys who sent in so many messages of support because I mentioned that I was feeling a lot of anxiety, I was experiencing a lot of stress symptoms, and that's the primary reason why I had to really just get out of the US and, and go to a country where this whole situation is managed very, very well. And I really just needed a mental health break, and so many of you guys were so um, incredibly supportive, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. And I really did need this. I, I feel my, my entire being is, is better now after a couple months here. My throat doesn't ache anymore. Even though I'm still trying to be as careful as I can when I go out, my anxiety level is way lower than it was. So for me personally, this was a great decision to make. And also, I just want to say for all of you guys out there, you got to take your mental health seriously. Whenever you feel like something's wrong, whenever you're, you're feeling yourself kind of experiencing thoughts or emotions or anything that's, that's really negatively affecting your daily life, maybe you're feeling it physically, maybe you're feeling it both physically or mentally, maybe you're just feeling it mentally, whatever it is, you got to take a step back, got to take some time for yourself, whether that's meditating every day, maybe even just a few minutes a day of just clearing your head, taking deep breaths, go for a walk, wh whatever you need to do. Go talk to someone, communicate, reach out, whatever you need to do. Do not ignore your mind and body's cry for help. I know the situation is still very, very bad in most parts of the world, but we gotta have hope. We gotta have faith that things will eventually get better and believe that right before dawn breaks, right before the sun comes up again, that's when it's the darkest and the sun will come up again. And while we're waiting for that, hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy, staying positive, and just help each other as much as we can through all this. And I don't know whether this is gonna be helpful at all, and I'm gonna announce this on my on my Instagram account. I will be doing live shows on my YouTube channels just to chat, maybe some cooking demos, and hopefully it's gonna be light, it's gonna be funny. Hopefully it'll take everyone's mind off this craziness at least for a little while. Oh, and I really like this video with Eric. We had a great time eating all-you-can-eat Brazilian barbecue. Check it out, here's the video. Hey guys, it's Mike Chin here in Los Angeles, right in front of an all-you-can-eat Brazilian barbecue. I haven't been to one of these since New York, and today, this place is supposed to be one of the best Brazilian barbecue places in the city. I got a special guest joining me for lunch. Let's go meet him. What's up, buddy? Hey! How you doing? How are you? Good Thanks to for see coming. you. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. You ready for breakfast? Uh, breakfast? Is it? I'm a little confused with uh, the... I heard this is a lot of food. Yeah, this is it's a lot It's a little of early. Dude, there's never too early right, for right. steak. All right, I'm just gonna shut Did up. Did you get anything today? I had a little bit of a muffin. I, I was that's, hungry. That's, that's gonna be a regretful <laughs> muffin for you. I'm telling you, you like steak? You I, like meat? I do like meat, but I've been trying to cut down. Not today, my friend. I, <laughs> I know, I came to the wrong place for that, but uh, I'm excited. Are I, you ready to dig in? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. 
this wonderful human being here, Eric Nam. Thanks for joining me for thank lunch, Thank you, too. thank you. Thanks for having me. You, you sir, are jack of all traits. You, Am you I? You are. I don't know. You, okay, before we get to that, though, have you ever been to a Brazilian barbecue? I think long time ago. Do it's you, been do you know a while. how this works? They pretty much impale an animal, throw it on a fire, and they just walk around until you say yes or no, right? Isn't that what heaven should be like? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I want to tell this story. Like, right. we, we just sat down, okay? And the uh, manager comes by, he's like, because he went to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, The manager yeah. came by, he's like, hey, how was your friend? I'm like, oh, I don't know, I've been like 31. He's like, yeah, because, uh, I want to make sure he's able to drink. Like, over <laughs> Asians don't raise it. Yo, follow that skincare routine. Take care of yourself. Do you have a skincare routine? I do soft, you know, every night, every morning. Oh, yeah, yeah we're going to get into this. We're going to get into your skincare routine. But I want to get, get some food on the table. First. Yeah. So, do you know what this is? That's, isn't it? This is like a green card, bring me food, and oh, it is green. Yes. There you go. Yes and no. So, when we throw this down, yeah. It's just gonna open the meat floodgates. I mean, are you ready? Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. Hold on, you need a breathing <laughs> what, what, exercise. Tell them what you ate last night. I had Korean barbecue last night. Not, I forgot that we were doing this. And mind you, I'm trying to reduce red meat intake. So last night was the first night in months uh -huh. I've had like barbecue. And then I was like, oh, good morning. Hey, when you fall off the meat wagon, you just stay off. I'll climb back on sometime, you know. But I'm excited. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> This is probably the most popular Brazilian barbecue place in Los Angeles. Oh, is it? Yeah, and they age all their meats minimum of 30 days. Oh, wow. We're lucky because I think they're doing a special right now where they're bringing dinner meats for lunch as well. So we get to try uh, all the different cuts, like 20 some cuts of meats. 20? Are there 20 parts on a cow? This is more than cow. This is the whole kingdom, oh. animal kingdom here. We got the zoo coming in. But do you have a strategy for this? No, I don't think much. <laughs> what is your strategy? Okay, so my thing is, this is not cheap, right? Right. So I want to get the best meat. Oh, okay, yeah, true. So I don't want chicken. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be sitting at a Brazilian steakhouse, you should go for the prime cuts. Yeah. So yeah. what are your favorite cuts? Uh, sirloin. Okay. I love anything that's fatty. Oh, really? You don't like fatty? What do you like fatty? I like, I'll have it in moderation, but I like, a little less fat. Yeah. Unless it's like Japanese super marbled, like that kind of, Yeah. I'm gonna get really excited in just a bit. Okay. So I'm, I'm just warning you right now, because when I see skewers of yeah. freaking meat yeah. dripping with fat in yeah. front of me. It does it for you. Just takes you to another place. Let's get into the skincare routine. Okay. What do you, oh, skincare. So you, you look like, the guy thought you were like maybe less than 21. So what do you do here? I wash my face and then I put stuff on it. Do you mask? No, I mean, I mask like every once in a while. If I feel really dry, I'll mask. So you, got, you got good skin. I, I mean, I'm close. Well, you. You, got, you got pretty good skin. Thank you. If I have some Korean stuff, I always like clean up really well, and then I use a toner and an essence, and then I put on a moisturizer Dude, I have and no eye cream. Well, like, I have what you said is. So here's the thing. For a bunch of guys, they're like, oh my God, that's so many steps. Yeah. But like, I can get it done literally in like a minute and a half. Really? Sounds like five different things. So You know, but it's fine. It's just, it's working. So whatever thank you're thank doing, you. I mean, it's, it's like immortality right now like <laughs> nobody knows how you are but you are really jack of all trades oh, you are well. you're like you, you 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 sing you can host Thank you, you can do interviews you speak like freaking how many languages three and two thirds three and two thirds no not even three and one tenth so i speak a little bit of english yeah i don't know if you could tell no just a little I um i speak some korean um because i live just in korea bit. yeah i speak spanish because i kind of grew up learning it and I spent every summer in like Latin American country in high school. And then I spent a year in Beijing studying at Peking University. Yeah. And that's where I picked up Mandarin. And then I forgot it all. You were born in Atlanta. You grew up in the US. Yeah. But you were like, I'm just gonna go to Korea and like, I can, I can host this. No, it was not. <laughs> I, was like, I wish. I, got this. I just happened to end up in Korea, right? And I was on a TV show every single week or every day, but I didn't know what I was doing. So like, I was that kid, I was like the idiot kid who couldn't speak, but I was just smiling all the time. And everybody, <laughs> I'm like laughing, but they're not laughing with me, they're laughing at me. Were they really? Because I'm just, in, I just like can't understand what's going on. But what happened is because I was on TV so much, I would have like 
anxiety issues uh -huh. and in dreams of me like not being able to speak uh -huh. and all this stuff. And so any script, anything I could get my hands on, I would try to memorize, read, learn the language and the words. And then it took me probably four or five years for me to feel anywhere comfortable being on TV. But, but now you're good. Now, now I'm good. Now, oh, we got some food but coming in. I still in. get panicked. What is this? Okay, These are the Cochinians, traditional patty in Juca. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta talk strategy real quick. Okay. Are they trying to fill us I up think with so. like starches? These There's, are traps. Right? These are traps, <laughs> but I fall for them all the time. I, I will eat one of each. One of each. There's also bread. No, There's no, no, mini no, 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 bread. No, no, we cannot. I mean, it's smoke. I, once you open that, uh, I was trying uh, not to not to air that out because that, that aroma is gonna be too much. Yeah. Wait, what is this? No it's idea. like a hush puppy almost. Mmm. It is like a hush puppy. Mm. Ah, yeah, it's like a chickeny hush puppy. I need to get us some meat because I feel like they're trying to. Look, I'm already uh, full. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Because like uh, cameraman, do you yeah, we didn't, we didn't have money to get this uh, to. to oh, what I'll do is I'll just have a little yeah. bit. Like, mm, I'll give you a reaction shot and then I'll feed you the rest. Yeah, we. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this my is the this, this is the sirloin. Gosh. Yeah, this is the sirloin cap. This is the best one. Have you is seen it? something Wait, like this before? Do you think it's the best one? It is. It is the best. Okay, yeah. I have not seen something like that before. It looks like big no. snails. <laughs> Do you see the fat on the outside? Yeah. Just charred super. It's gonna be crispy and then chewy on the inside. And it's just salty. That's it. That's oh, it. that's it. That's it. See? Oh. Here, buddy. Thank you. Oh, no worries. <sighs> wow. This is just pure juice. Look at this thing. Yeah, man. Cheers, Cheers buddy. Cheers. Mm. That is some amazing right. steak. I just want you guys to see this. Look at the juice oozing out of this. Oh my god. We got some oh! Here. Oh heck yeah! I just want to say that I wasn't particularly excited about eating steak at like 11.30 or 12 in the morning. I take it back. This I, is delicious. I don't understand why you wouldn't, but, but go ahead. I mean, well, go ahead. Yeah. I, just, I just woke up. Mm -hmm. But this is delicious. I'm going to split the uh, lobster tail for us. Do your thing. I trust you more than I trust myself. <laughs> You shouldn't trust me around food. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm gonna take it all if I can. There you thank go. you, thank you. By the way, that's flipping amazing. Well, I'm still enjoying my steak. There's, oh, wait, I gotta, I need to catch up. Brazilian sausage and smoked sausage. Okay. Can we share one yeah, of those? We, yeah, share one of those and then, and then we'll each take like a piece of that. We wanna taste but not fill up. We know what you're trying to do. Yeah, come on, buddy. I know your strategy. He's all smiles, but I, 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 I can see where yeah. he's, he's planning. Where's that Thank sirloin, you. man? I'll make some more sirloin. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just play with you, dude. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. How's a lobster? It's like creamy. Yeah. It tastes like it swim through a sea of seasoning into your mouth. This is like soft and fragrant. You want to sleep on it at night? We, I could. Yeah. Absolutely. Could. A bed of lobster. <laughs> yes. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that smoke sausage. Wow. That thing would not be allowed on an airplane. It's too smoky. <laughs> like, no way. I feel like I'm a dragon right now. I just should be able to breathe out smoke. I prefer the, the smoked sausage more. It's a little more gamey. Mm -hmm. You get a little more just like meat flavor. Smoke, it's a little saltier. I agree with you. I want to ask you, I don't know if it's a different route or a unique right. route. You did a YouTube cover. Yes. And that's how you kind of got into the industry. Right. But you didn't go into like a K-pop group. No. That's kind of different, right? Usually people yeah. go into a K-pop group. Well, nothing about my career has been conventional in any way. Like I was supposed to be a consultant at Deloitte. That was- What my, was your major? I was an international studies major. And you were in Deloitte. And I was at Deloitte. So you're being a good Asian kid. I was being the best Asian kid, yo. I had the job, I got the grades, I got the honors, I got all what that stuff. What happened to you, man? Mom hates it. Asian parents disapproving. Right. That's the only way that it really comes full circle for like Asian American dude, right? So this was just um, a hobby, right? This Singing. is a completely a hobby. I just did like YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. After I graduated, after I had the job, I decided I'd take a year off and I went to India. Yeah. And while I was there, I got hit up through my YouTube channel. I was like, hey, we saw your covers, come to Korea, we'll pay for your flight. And I said, yeah, we'll go. And then got top five, Wait, signed a record deal. As soon as you got top five, you were offered a deal. I mean, I was offered deals, I think, early on during the show. Mm -hmm. But then when you're on a show, every, like the network and everybody, they're kind of like managing it. So by the time it was done, I met with probably like 15 labels. It was scary though, because you have this thing that might work, this entertainer yeah. thing. And then you have a job that you know is gonna pay right. you. You have insurance, you have all these things. Yeah. So then I just, I ended up quitting my job. I took 
the label deal. And then now I'm here having steak with you. A few more steps in between, but <laughs> for people who don't know, like mm -hmm. how come it wasn't like a K-pop like group thing? It was more uh. just like vocal, like solo. Ooh, wait, what Hi. is this? Oh, hello there. How are you? This is Top Sirloin. Hey, yes. Top Sirloin. How you doing? Oh wait, yeah, yeah I gotta, forgot. Gotta, I, come I, on, man, you gotta sorry. help him out. This Thank you. This isn't like putting your mouth just yet. <laughs> you know what's so great about Brazilian barbecue is the fact that they sear the outside so quickly, all that juice is trapped. They cut this off and they take it back in and they sear it again. Yeah, like, they do. Is that what they, it they is? They do, yeah. So That's, every single piece is succulent. Every, yes. By the way, this salsa thing is delicious. Mm. Without it, it's delicious too, mm -hmm. but. Oh my God. I might like this better than the sirloin. This is even fattier. Yeah. This is really good. That's my favorite cut so far. It deserves an applause. Anyway, you were saying. Yes, what were we saying? We're, we're, we're talking about how come you went this, the, the singing solo Oh, right, instead of. And instead of a K-pop group. Because I was too old to be in a group. Okay, when was this? This is 2012, so I was 22. 22 was too 22, old. 22, I'm too old. What? Because in Korea, they start you so young, right? The training and the, all that stuff. So by that point, I still remember when I debuted, people like Big Bang, I don't know if you're familiar, like Big yeah, Bang, Girls' Generation, yeah. we're all like the same age. Mm -hmm. They had already hit their stride. So for me, I was too late. So they're like, you could be in a band with like three other members where it's like a rock band, mm -hmm. or you should be in a duo or just be a soloist. And I was like, I'll just be a soloist. Oh, you got the tomahawk? Oh my God. Wait, is that all of it for us? I hope so. <laughs> God, I hope so. 45 days of aging and three pounds. Do you see how the top of that splits as he cuts it? That's a sign of a good steak. This thing is gonna be so oh my lord freaking tender. This is sexier than salt bay, I don't care. Look at that. Oh he's gonna He's gonna salt bay it! He salt bait it! Wow. Sope don't have a hot plate. No, he don't. Whoa. But we do. And they cook this Brazilian barbecue style. So it's not on a grill. It's roasted over flames like it should be. Like the way God intended barbarians to eat. <laughs> I'm a flipping caveman when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, buddy. Oh, thank you. By the way, that rosemary, yeah. do you smell that? I smell it. It's like aromatherapy with your meal. This is so many things at one time mm -hmm. that not only are you getting a great meal, you're getting a healing. I love what you just said. You know? As much as you try to force it down, hey man, it's coming back up. <laughs> I try to hide yeah. that I uh, just devour everything. Holy mother of all the cows in the world. Wow. Right, right now. Come, come get some right now. They love John me. John Tony, you gotta try this right now before it gets cold. Yeah. How good is that? How good is that, buddy? It's amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, look at the fat That is all for you. That is yours. Cheers to that. I love it, come on. So you, you, you start doing the solo thing. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Oh, thank you. And then how'd that go? At the end of the day, it went well. I'll say this, nothing about my career has been easy. Mm -hmm. Because, think about it, there are no Asian American music superstars in the States anymore, mm -hmm. right? And I think growing up as Asian American, it's like, you're American, but you don't completely fit, you don't right. completely relate, like, right. what, where is our space? Then you go back to the homeland, but then you're a foreigner there. Right. You're American, you're too American and too whatever. Was that at a point where like Asian Americans and like Korean Americans were going back to Korea? Like you weren't the first. I wasn't the first. I think there's always been a few in and out, uh -huh. but there are not that many, mm -hmm. right? But people are always like, why'd you choose to go to Korea? I always appreciate that Korea gave me a start. Right. I love Korea, I love my fans, I love the people that, you know, put on for me. But a big part of it is like, Nobody gave us a shot here in the States. Where else are we gonna go? And so I think that's why naturally a lot of us ended up migrating over there to try to do music. At the end of the day, it worked out. Yeah. And then you were not just good at music, 
you were good at talking. You were the go-to person for when all the freaking superheroes and uh, they wanted to showcase yeah. themselves in, in South Korea. You, you were the one. I got lucky. One of my first interviews was Robert Downey Jr. Mm -hmm. for Iron Man. Once that started doing well, I did, I'd say at least all, like half of the Avengers. Like Paris Hilton, a lot of models, and just like random people whenever they're in Korea because Korea's become such a cool, yeah. hot, hip spot. Spot. So, what do you enjoy more? You're on all these like shows that's mm -hmm. more talking, or do you enjoy the music aspect more? Or it's both, like you love both? I think I enjoy the music the most. Yeah. Performing, touring is probably the best part of my job. And you're on tour right now. When we just wrapped like the US, North American leg, and then we'll probably be doing Europe, Australia very soon. Yeah, um, once things calm down. Yeah, but music's always like the passion, and then the TV stuff, I kind of just fell into it because in Korea, you kind of have to do everything to make a living. Yeah. And so it was more out of survival and necessity. But once I figured out like, oh, there are certain things that I excel at that I'm particularly good at, it's not a big stressor to me. Oh, he's back. Hi. He's back. You are the James Bond. <laughs> Who are you? Bob barbecue. Right here, we got the filet. Filet, filet? On with the onion. Oh, with the onion. onion. Baby. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna still eat that. <laughs> Mike gonna, is gonna chew I'm on the bone. I'm about to gnaw on that bone. Okay, I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I mean, Clint, you can't eat like this every day. Or I'll do try. you? I'll try, but no, you can't. <laughs> How do you stay healthy and fit? You look like you work out You gotta work out, a lot. like a lot. What's your regimen? Like, what do you do? Like, twice a day. You work out twice, twice a day? Twice a day. Cardio in the morning, cardio and weights in the evening. We're one of the combination of those two. And then when I'm home, I try to do like a third one. Where I'm going to a class where I go out and ride a bike for like an hour. Do you do more in a in a day than I do in like a span of three months? Really? I swear. I mean, I don't like to admit that, but that's amazing. <laughs> I want to say something to you. I want you to take it the wrong way. I think I love you. I'm just saying. You do? I'm just saying. I mean, I, I love you, Eric, no. but dude. It's fine. This it's dude cool. I understand. Grill me, I understand. This is your version of heaven right yeah. now. Fatten me up. Oh Sumo me. My. Oh God. God. <laughs> like a freaking beef popsicle right now in my hand. The meat to fat ratio here, meat Perfect. like 3% fat, 97%. Perfect. Everyone has their preferences. This dude, <laughs> there's a reason he works out three times a day. I want to swim in this thing. <laughs> I, I kid you not, dude, sorry. Every time meat comes, I'm like, I, I have no idea what the heck we're, we, were, we were talking about before the meat gets there. That's delicious. Really? Wait, mm -hmm. which piece did you eat? The, the piece Yeah, the ribeye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I want to ask you, um, was there anything that kind of like surprised you a lot? Surprised me a lot? In... When you went into the industry. Like that was just like, oh my God. Or like worries you or like was just shocking to you. Because it looks all Disney, you know what I mean? Like K-pop, K-pop, yeah. it looks like a Disneyland. Right. But it's not. It's There's not. so many dark sides to it too. And you know, people, yeah suffer a lot of mental, you know, yeah. um, stress from it. This is my personal experience, huh. how long it takes for you to get paid. I'm very blessed, I'm very thankful in the sense that I've made it, right? Mm -hmm. Like I've considered myself to be successful, but like it took me probably like four years to get paid. Actually. Like what do you mean get, but like- to Get a actual, paycheck. First paycheck? Yeah. No. How'd you survive then? Savings and then singing songs for other kids and like teaching them how to sing. So while you were being propped up, you were like teach, giving voice lessons. I was like, I would be in the studio directing other idols who are like bigger than me, how to sing certain songs or certain parts and whatever. And you got paid for that. Wow. Were there any time that you were like, forget So this. many times. Again, I know I speak from a place of privilege because I've made it, but there were so many times where like, I should just quit. But then I was like, but I've invested so much time and energy, like to quit and go back now would feel like such a waste. Were your parents, um, Supportive, or are they just like, Hell no. what the heck are you doing? My dad was like, you know what, it's your life. You're good, do whatever you want. My mom, even till like two years ago. Really? She's like, so when are you getting a real job? Mom has never been the most supportive. She is now. I understand where, that, where you come from with that. She says that as like a bus is going by with uh -huh. my face on it. And I'm like, that's me. She's like, no, it's not. That's too good looking. It's not actually you. Clearly it's been like manipulated <laughs> in other ways. And then once you made it, you were like, let's try to do this in the US. Yeah, I mean, I think that was always in the back of my head. It's okay, let's try to do stuff in Korea or in Asia, build a profile and then take it to the US so people can't just ignore it. Mm -hmm. But trying to bridge that gap so what feels foreign to a lot of people in America doesn't feel so foreign as we keep pulling it together. Oh, what is that? Yeah. So with cinnamon, sugar and cinnamon. 
You never had a grilled pineapple? I've never yeah. seen this. I mean, I mean I've seen it in like Hawaii or like on a hamburger, but like this looks like uh, amazing. Yes. Wow. Oh, yes. This is. This is your jam? Yo, this is like a cinnamon, smoky, caramelized sugar. You always like K pop though. I think I, I did because at a young age, it was the only place where I would listen or watch. Oh. Rack of lamb. Oh my Heck lord. Yeah, baby. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Dude, I don't know how you do this. Are you gonna, are you gonna just like. Uh, I'm gonna pop. You need grass for the next week? Yeah, just oxygen and grass. I'll say this I prefer this for lunch than for dinner. Because dinner, then you're like, yeah, I can't go to bed. No, what do you like to eat? I literally eat everything. The only thing that I really cannot eat mm -hmm. is like goat. I, I have lamb right there. If done properly, I could do. It's not my favorite meat, but I'll always try it. It's pretty good, I know. But you know what's really good? If you eat it with the pineapple. Mm. Oh. It's super good. That's what I like about you, man. I like when people are inventive mm -hmm. with their food. All right, let's talk dating. Okay, right, yeah. How do you go about dating? You're like high profile individual. You do it secretly. <laughs> how do you even initiate like you like someone? What is this? Oh, is that heart? It's a chicken heart. Chicken heart. Ooh. You like heart? I'll have one. Yeah, one each. One each. Yes. It's like livery. It's nice. Kind of, yeah. It's a muscle. We could do it. Hot. It's good though. Um, you date in secret. How do you meet people? You're not locked in a room, like can't leave. But would you only date people in the industry? Not necessarily. Yeah. But it is easier to date people in the industry. Right, they because they understand where you're... Right, and then it's just, you have a lot of work together, you tend to just run into each other over and over. I'm always curious about this with uh, anybody who's uh, high profile. It's uh -huh. like, how you, who are you dating? Oh, what this is the it? Wagyu? Uh, the 45 days age. Why didn't you tell us before? Oh, Wagyu. Oh my lord. Look at that. <laughs> that is just bloody insanity. This is perfect for after all the other meats because I always want something melty. A dessert meat? Uh-huh. You barely have to chew that. You could swallow it whole, <laughs> quite honestly. Wow, this is good. I won't. Is this all included in your, in your buffet? It's special on uh, Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, but it's, it's all you can eat. No, it's two ounces per person. Two ounces per person, they yeah. get that included with the buffet. That's still a good deal. You come here on certain days, you get like a lobster, or you get this, and today we get both. Look at that, I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to get this without you. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm pretty sure you could, it's you. <laughs> I'm so honestly uh -huh. impressed by you. <laughs> Oh my God, what's going on now? What is what are some of the projects you have going on? Consistently, I'm always working on new music. So I have a new new album that I'm working on. Yeah. I'm still kind of touring. I have a few podcasts that I do. One's on K-pop, and the other one is I Think You're Dope, where I just talk to interesting people. So actors, musicians, politicians, authors. And you're doing all that in LA? Right now it's all in LA, and then when yeah. I'm in Korea, I do it in Korea. Oh my uh, God, what is, what is this? this? Okay, this is one of my favorites. This is the picanha with Parmesan cheese. Oh, heck yeah, baby. A picanha? Picanha, yeah. What is yeah. picanha? Picanha is a sirloin. Oh my god. We, we can just share this. Yeah, we'll share that. I didn't know what a picanha was either, but I just saw meat and I just said, give me <laughs> this Parmesan with meat. You should love this. This is like a Korean thing. It's like a meat and cheese. Korean, Italian, Brazilian thing going oh. on. Oh, yeah. That is so mm. fragrant. Oh, the fat part. You can taste the age of the meat. The wisdom of the aging. Very cheesy, very meaty. It's everything in one. Do we want to uh... Yeah, I'm, I, honestly, you can keep going. I need to pause. I appreciate it. I'll join you, bro. We, Are you we, sure? We still have some dessert coming up, but we hit the red light on that. So your tour is, US is done. US is done, but then we have Europe, probably Australia. And that's all that info is on your website. Yeah, that'll be up. Actually, I don't know when it'll be up. All this, you know. We'll put the website there so people yeah. can, uh, website. can find out about you. Bye. Oh, no. 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 Oh, what? Okay, I gotta try this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I'll do it.
I'm fine. I, I'm gonna live vicariously through Mike here. You never seen no the garlic meat. Oh. Oh. That's what I love about the Brazilian steakhouse. Are you not gonna find juicier meats? No. What has been your favorite cut so far? I think the second one that we had. That actually was probably my favorite too. Amazing. Really good. Oh, what is time. Wow. Flour loose, chocolate, creme brulee. Creme brulee. Oh my god. What is this? Flan? This is flan. I'm gonna have a flourless chocolate cake. Hold on. This is freaking amazing. Mmm. Wow. It's warm and gooey. We, right? We have it with ice cream though. So what we oh get here? Is it, what is it, creme brulee? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Don't baby. you love cracking the sugar top on I this? I love it. Very vanilla. -y. Yeah, but hey, you're doing great things. We're gonna Thank have you. all your information down below. Check yes. him out. Really awesome, awesome dude. Thank and you. we need more Asian artists in, in this society. Like US, we need more people to, 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 you know, listen and watch and, and just patronize. You guys are doing great things. I'm Thank you. For you guys. You likewise. Always here to, you know, anything anything you got Thank going you on. Thank so you so much. I'm always yeah. here to support you. Please. But yeah. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I had a great meal. I, I'm gonna work out today. Today yeah, I will work that's out. That's awesome. What should I do? You should do everything. Like I will do every, everything. Like you spent three months, right? So you gotta, <laughs> like everything. Just work on them toes too. Like, get everything get everything going, that blood circulation going. I will. Thank you so much. This has been fun. I uh, appreciate you guys. Please subscribe, yeah. comment, you know, yeah. follow him all, on all, whatever. All that great stuff. As always, until we eat again, we'll see you later. Bye.